Now, in a surprise move, Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee cut its main policy rate by 100 basis points to 12.5% and maintained other parameters constant in its third meeting of the year. Bismarck Krawani, the CEO of Financial Derivatives, and Muda Yusuf, Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, joined CNBC Africa's Wali Famurewa for a post-analysis of the MPC decision. It wasn't surprised in the sense that moving in the direction of accommodation, uh, but mindful of the fact that negative real returns on interest, where inflation is 12.34 and interest rates are coming down, even the policy rate is coming down, um, that poses a real problem. Because when you open up the economy, and uh, the only way to open the economy is to open up the foreign exchange market and all of that. So we are going to see a lot of pressure on the foreign exchange market and demand to open to, to get that kind of growth. So uh, to a large extent, it's a pleasant thing, but monetary policy has never been used to achieve fiscal objectives. It only assists. So it's, uh, the governor was very clear in his statement that he will assist this um, fiscal policy to achieve, uh, to avoid a recession. However, I must point out that the contraction in growth if you look at the Q1 numbers, only, in fact, only nine sectors outperformed the GDP, the level of GDP of 1.87. The other of the 46 sectors that are tracked, all others, 30, 30, uh, 37 sectors actually underperformed GDP, which means that if oil had not gone by 5.06, the economy would have been in recession in Q1. So I don't think we should. Uh, underestimate the impact of the slowdown, the contraction, and finally the economic paralysis. I think that you would have a negative right. growth in Q2, that's already, and the Central Bank Governor alluded to that. You will also have a negative growth in Q3 because we are not gonna have a V-shaped recovery, we are gonna have a U-shaped recovery. Right. Uh, Muda, your reactions? Well, I was a bit surprised uh, but uh, I do know that the CRR is, I think, is of a bigger concern to the system more than the MPR, although this may look uh, symbolic. So in terms of impact on liquidity in the system, I think the CRR seems to be a bigger issue for us in terms of the impact it can have. I also would like to say that uh, what the outlook will be will depend to a large extent on how we manage the foreign exchange market. Uh, we still don't have uh, clarity as to how the CBN wants to go about this. Uh, already we are seeing indications of liquidity challenge in the forex market, and this will have a big uh, effect on investors' uh, confidence. Of course, we need to see how we go about issues around uh, our trade policy, issues around the, all this interstate lockdown, which has been impeding the domestic economic performance very greatly uh, because already we have an issue with the external sector but the domestic economy is also not able to function properly because of all these restrictions across the country. So all these issues are critical uh, to bring about a rebound of the economy. I appreciate the optimism of the Central Bank of Nigeria, but a lot will depend on lot of other factors beyond uh, the monetary policy action.